tunes and it is a radio loud. I got my kitty shirt on today. Don't know if you can see it. Space kitties. We got the space kitties on. Who knows if this video will actually make it to uh, Facebook. We're having all sorts of fun with Manny Cam today once again. And uh, get a hold of us on The Mix on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. That's where you can hear us each and every week for the Jiggy Jaguar experience. You can also find our videos and everything on the Sunday Radio Program Facebook page and the YouTube as well. The YouTube. I've been in Facebook jail for 30 days. Um, apparently, our friends Miko Hayes, that rat bastard, and Kenny Bollinger, that piece of shit, uh, and all their little buddies uh, have been spending most of their time reporting uh, Facebook videos that we have posted to our uh, Facebook.com slash the J-I-G-G-Y-J-A-G-U-A-R Facebook page. And uh, so Facebook went ahead, and they, 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 of course, are doing community standards and all these things and just shenanigans. So they put us in Facebook jail for 30 days. So I just went ahead and took all the damn videos down. Um, we get a lot more hits on Pornhub, and we get a lot more hits on YouTube on our videos. And YouTube doesn't have any crazy standards of practice. By the way, they have attempted to get our videos taken down off YouTube. It has never worked. It has never worked, my friends. So, but uh, but face Facebook's freaking out right now, so that's what's basically going on there. But that's fine; it doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. What matters is later on in the broadcast. That's what matters. That'll be in our second hour of our world famous Cheeky Cheek Wire experience. 47 minutes after the hour. Thanks for joining us today here on our big program. Our big program. The big broadcast, as they say. Why am I Italian all of a sudden? I don't know. My thanks to Carrie Lutz and Molly Gill. We're going to be talking to Howard Vans and James Hershen. Dr. James Hershen, by the way. And then we're also going to be talking about Mr. Thomas Lamb. The big star Tommy boy. Coming up in our next uh, hour. Thomas Lamb from Mega Metal Magazine. Our good buddy. In the Now Magazine as well. We'll talk about him. And I went out to uh, Bad Boys of Professional Wrestling this last Saturday night out in uh, Hoisington, Kansas. The great rolling city of Hoisington, Kansas. They just got a Sonic, I believe, a year ago? Maybe. Hoisington's kind of a growing uh, growing little community. We got the pro wrestling out there. And got to see a lot of our good buddies. Got to see Simone Predator. Got to see the world famous Kenny Zombie Jones. That Kenny Zombie Jones. Uh, let's see. Got to see this Brandon Groom character. He is a good-looking athlete. Um, this guy can move. This guy can wrestle. Hell of a deal. I did some research on the guy. Found out he used to. He had a developmental deal with WWE. I'm not shocked. <laughs> I'm not shocked at all. Uh, so Dan Adams, Ed Beckley put on a heck of a heck of a show this last weekend. Uh, BBOW is back, and they're going to be going to Eagle, Colorado. In fact, I th it, when you hear this on the mix, they have just returned from Eagle, Colorado. They went out there for a monster truck uh, show, but also pro wrestling. Uh, Jake the F Snake was there. And Greg the Hammer Valentine. They list on the BBOW uh, Facebook page that he's a former WWF champion. He never won the WWF title. He won the Intercontinental title. He was a tag team champion, but that's fine. I think what they mean is that he was a champion in the World Wrestling Federation. Not that he was World Wrestling Federation champion. Two completely different things, but that's fine. 
Um, also got to see at this uh, at this BBOW show. Got to see a. <laughs> this was one of those classic hook 'em up. You know, Bill Watts used to always talk about, oh, let's hook him up. Samoan Predator, the quote-unquote suspended Samoan Predator (laughs) versus J.C. Thunder. These two guys, basically, it was just two bulls hitting each other. It was two trucks hitting each other. That was a hell of a deal. And I actually thoroughly enjoyed filming that match because they, they just they just beat the crap out of each other. And I think they finally, I think it was a, a count out. I think they were on the outside and they just were just punching each other and slapping each other and going nuts. And Kenny Zombie Jones had to do the count out and throw it out. Kenny was the special guest referee for the evening. <laughs> That, I think, was great, because he refereed in his gear. And as he told me backstage, he's like, well, I'm going to referee in my gear, so I've got my my referee shirt on, so it's like I'm going to call it down the middle. And then he's like, but I've got my gear on, so I'll beat your ass if I need to. (laughs) So it was a hell of a deal. Kitty Zombie Jones, got to see him, got to see the Predator, got to see... uh, uh, J.C. Thunder, which is always a treat. Got to see the uh, uh, Brandon Groom. Got to see the Texas Outlaws, which, by the way, they are uh, hated like nobody's business out there in Hoise, Kansas. Uh, there was um, a group of people that made a sign, Rodeo Clown, that they held up. Uh, the crowd in Hoisington gets into it. I'll tell you, these, these crowds that have come out for these last BBOW shows since they've come back... Oh my God! <laughs> Just absolutely amazing. I want to put a camera on the crowd. I I don't care about the guys working in the ring. I want to put a camera on the crowd. That is a hell of a deal. Uh, but Dan Dan does a hell of a job putting these shows together. I'll have to say. And uh, let's see what else did they have out there that I was very interested in. Uh. God, what was the other deal they had? They had the, the J.C. Thunder Simone Predator match, which was good. As I like Predator. He's a good guy. Shannon's a good guy. Uh, Simone Predator been on the uh, the radio show here. We need to get Predator back on at some stage of the game. But uh, it, it, it was a hell of a deal. And the other thing that I liked was Christian Temple. <laughs> Christian Temple is a heel in BBOW, and he is over as a heel the minute his music hits and the minute he walks through that curtain. They boo him out of the building. I can't tell you, but how many, I can't even tell you the number, but there are so many little kids that can't stand him. They, they hate him. They're always doing the little the the L thing, you know, the loser deal on the on the you know the L thing that people used to do. And these little kids meet him at the gate, meet him at the entrance. Uh, in fact, he came out Saturday. <laughs> he goes to walk to the ring, and they met him there, and. He couldn't go forward. That <laughs> same weren't gonna let him. <laughs> so they have security there, of course. <laughs> Security's not for the fans, it's for the wrestlers. <laughs> Realistically. Those are wrestlers no, don't touch the crown. Don't do anything to the fans. But the fans don't know, don't do anything to the wrestlers. <laughs> So Temple uh, got to the ring. <laughs> he wrestled, and he's a great heel. Oh, I'll tell you, he is a great heel. He's got the uh, the 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 facials. He's got that. He's got the. He plays to the crowd. He was well trained by good old Mangler. Um, 
what's funny is I and I called him this at the last show and he didn't really know how to how to take it, but he's like Mini Mangler. <laughs> the only thing missing is the bad haircut. Now, of course, me should be talking about bad haircuts. But uh, the, the only thing missing is the bad haircut. So it was it was quite the deal. I enjoyed BBOW. I hope that there are more BBOW shows. And I talked to Dan and I talked to Ed. And there are going to be more BBOW shows as they move on down the line. Uh, let's take a little bit of a break. When we come back, we are going to get a hold of Dr. James Hershen. He is going to join us here in just a few moments.